1000 PS fans, I welcome you from the island of Mallorca, Spain, where BMW presents the new R9T. And now I think I should just keep my mouth shut so you can enjoy this beautiful piece of motorcycle art. You really have to see this in person to fully appreciate its beautiful lines. The first time I saw it was just one week ago and I immediately fell in love. This looks like one of my dream bikes. I have a lot of dream bikes, but this could be one. This is how I imagine uh, a modern retro bike. This is as naked as it gets. We have one round headlamp, a wide handlebar, a very slim and flat tank. Also, the seat is very flat. And then you have this huge boxer engine. It's a two-seater, so you can go for a ride with your girlfriend or your wife, depends on who you like more. Or you can detach the rear frame and be a lonesome cowboy and make this bike a real cafe racer. The R90 is powered by the old Boxer engine, which means it has the same displacement, 1170 cubic centimeters, but it only has 110 horsepower and 119 newton meters of torque. Now some might think that BMW just wanted to get rid of the old Boxer engines that were left on the shelves, but I can tell you it was the right decision because the air oil-cooled engine has much more character than the new one and it also fits the bike perfectly. We have a very classic look like the wired spoked wheels with black rims but we also have a lot of high performance parts. I have a steering damper right here. I have an upside down fork in gold which is very nice and I have really strong brakes 320 millimeter discs and four piston calipers monoblock radially mounted. There are some really nice design elements on this bike like the BMW logo in the headlamp and right here on the steering head I have some kind of production plate like on the on the old BMW models. There are two analog instruments here uh, in the middle there's a LCD display for further information like fuel consumption. For me this is not the best looking part on the motorcycle but I think you can change that. You can reduce it to just one analog instrument.
BMW initially introduced this project years ago, so we had, had to wait quite some time, but now it's here. And as I said before, we love it. I love it. Um, it's a pretty raw bike. Um, it has a hard suspension, very strong brakes. Uh, the engine has a lot of character. There's quite some movement in the bike. Uh, so it's not soft at all. Um, there's no windscreen. There's, there's nothing that protects you from the wind. It's really pure naked. So I was quite surprised how tough it is. But the looks are just sensational. And I love everything on this bike. Personally, I would wish for the Sport ABS system because you can't switch off this regular ABS. That's just one point for me. And the instruments, which I would just reduce to a minimum, maybe just uh, some small um, LED display and nothing else. But everything else is, is great. Uh, and as I said, it's instantly one of my dream bikes.